how you use the Toji and the girl hug. No. That's a memorabilia mug. That's not a drinking mug. Mug. Have you never heard that word before? No. It's the same thing as like merchandise. You know, memorabilia. It's it's a thing that has stuff on it. All right. What's up, everybody? I'm Callie. I'm a dad, and this is Callie Dad Taste Test. And uh, what better time to drink sweet tea, a bunch of sweet tea, than 10:30 at night? Serge is here. Hi. He's off camera, as per usual. Serge and I are going to drink a buttload of tea, uh, specifically Texas Tea brand tea. We're going to drink every single flavor, and we're starting with blueberry. Are these all green tea? No. This is green tea. Green tea has caffeine. I, I think all tea has caffeine. I don't... That's not true. You think this is gonna keep us up? Uh... Yes. Alright. Blueberry flavor is not... Not extremely prominent. Yeah, it doesn't. It's there. It's just very, very subtle. I was expecting more, I guess. That was fine. It's like a seven. We'll start off with a... I guess... Starting. What am I saying? Continuing. <laughs> We're continuing with... Uh, this is just some plain old sweet tea. Some plain old sweet... Uh, focus. No. There you go. Some plain old sweet tea... Uh, Sugarland, sweet Sugarland is an actual place outside of Houston. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, that is very sweet. It's real sweet. <laughs> I mean, sweet tea done right is extremely sweet. This is extremely sweet. I have to be in the mood for sweet tea. I think I thought I was. Maybe I'm not. Sweet tea. Is with food. That's you get it at a Whataburger. You get it at Bill Miller's. Bill Miller's has probably the best sweet tea. All right, what food should we grab? Well, it's it's ten thirty at night. We just had chicken. We got uh, poteet strawberry white tea. Whoop! No, there you go. We've been to the strawberry festival a couple times down in poteet. Yeah, I I didn't have my shots yet when <laughs> they did the Strawberry Festival. And I'm sure a lot of people didn't. We'll go next year, for sure. Yeah. I like Strawberry Fest. And strawberries. Yes. This is white tea. That's good. That's some good stuff. White tea. Do you like it? It's alright. <laughs> it's alright. That's Serge's rating for white tea. I, I like that a lot. That's like that's like an eight. Eight point five. That's that's top of the tea right now. You know, I don't know if I've taken you to Fredericksburg. But Fredericksburg is known for their peaches. We should go see what's going on down in Fredericksburg. Oh, let's go right now. Right now? Mm. No. All the restaurants are closed. It's 10 30 at night. It'd be like midnight by the time we get there. Doesn't say what kind of tea it is. <laughs> peach. It's peach. It's very peachy. It does taste like peach. Very sweet. I like this one. I like this one a lot. It is very peachy. It reminds me of peach rings. I feeling myself getting full of tea. <laughs> I made myself sick eating an entire bag of peach rings one time. Don't sit and eat an entire bag of candy, okay? Just don't do it. I did that but with craisins. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
surges. I think everyone has had that experience. Up next, we got Pecos Cantaloupe White Tea. Shwoop. Pecos is way in West Texas. I've never been there. I've been I've been to El Paso and Del Rio, but I've never heard of Pecos, Texas. I'll look into them. It doesn't taste like cantaloupe. It 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 is it leans more towards honeydew. Maybe this is, it tastes like a not ripe melon. Yeah, this is a weird melon taste. Like maybe because it's mixed with the white tea. No. Not a, not a fan. I like cantaloupe. All right, all right well Serge dumps that. Uh, hopefully we're gonna end with a banger here. Austin's own good flow green tea with honey. Honey and spearmint. Interesting. That is minty. Yeah. That mint hits you right up front. <laughs> That's a weird taste. It's yeah, it's a green tea with mint and the honey is like there's a little honey aftertaste, but like it's this is extremely minty. In ways I was not ready for. It's in my nose. I don't really like this one either. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be the one. It's really strong. It's I am honestly amazed how strong that spearmint is. Or if we're just particularly sensitive to it or what. I mean I like spearmint stuff, but like I don't know what they did. Why it's so minty. What was your favorite search? Peach. Peach? Uh I think yeah, I think the strawberry and peach are about even for me. Those are the top two. The least favorite is the cantaloupe, honestly. <laughs> I like cantaloupe. People try to do cantaloupe flavor and fail a lot, I think. There's not a lot of cantaloupe flavored stuff out there, but that was not good. That was not a good <laughs> melon flavor. If you want to call us heathens for only drinking sweet tea, leave, leave a comment. I'm trying to come up with a clever outro and I, I can't. I'm just like staring at this somewhat disappointing tea. I was like, I'm, I'm, gen I'm seriously like, why, why is this so minty? Why would you sell sweet tea that's so minty? That one's just not sweet. It's still sweet, but it's also like <laughs> mint. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter at CaliDadTaste. Don't follow Surge because you can't. Uh, don't follow my son. I'll come for you. 